along. They're all sing-alongs. Um, if they have choruses, especially. This is a true story about the first time the U.S. invaded Mexico. Um, <clears throat> there's a town in Las Vegas, Las Vegas, New Mexico, which is a town of 17,000 people, small town. 80% of the people there or so can trace their lineage to war before it was part of the U.S. And um, people tell stories that were passed on uh, in their families. People still do that in some places. They tell stories about um, when uh, an American, you know, a U.S. military uh, general came to Las Vegas with soldiers. And they, uh, they stood on this building, uh, the general stood on the building and he gave a speech uh, saying, you're now part of the U.S. and you have democracy now and if you don't like it, we'll hang you. And then he kept on going. And this building is still there. It's the Traveler's Cafe. Now, if you ever find yourself in Las Vegas, I recommend it because there's also a hot spring in Las Vegas. It's right by the side of a little road at the, at the base of the, of the Friends World College. Um, so in this town of 17,000, uh, you'll find people from about 90 countries, you know, um, but only like one each, you know. My name is John Wright. I'll have your ear only a while. I left my dear home in Ireland. It was death, starvation, or exile. Pebbles and hillsides that I saw the mistake I had made. Part of a conquering army with the morals of a bayonet blade. And there amidst all these poor dying Catholics, screaming children, the burning stench of it all, myself and two hundred Irishmen decided to rise to the call. From Dublin City to San Diego, we witnessed I'm denied. So we formed the St. Patrick Battalion and we fought on the Mexican side. We formed the St. Patrick Battalion and we fought on the Mexican side. We marched beneath the green flag of St. Patrick, emblazed with Erin Golbra. Right with the harp and the shamrock and the retired Madre Publica. The Yanks called us a legion of strangers, and they can talk as they may. But from Dublin City to San Diego, we witnessed freedom denied. So we formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side. What do we do? We formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side. Where their volunteers were raping the nuns. In Monterey and Cerro Gordo, we fought on as Ireland's sons. For the red headed fighters for freedom, miss these brown skinned women and men. 
each of us was the last.